Hey guys, I hope you all are doing great. This is Malika and welcome back to another video. So, today we will be talking about Quebec immigration system. How can you immigrate to Quebec using their immigration programs? But before we get started, I would like to tell you that if you wish to immigrate to Canada, know all the updates and the process related to Canada immigration, then you should consider subscribing to my channel. And if you have already subscribed, do consider hitting the like button well guys i upload regular videos related to canada immigration my videos are always in detail so it helps you a lot to do the process on your own i post regular videos on monday wednesdays and fridays so if you want to know about the detailed process then you should consider watching the playlist too and if you want me to handle your profile and do the process on your behalf i do that too so you can definitely email me on this email id and i will be more than happy to take up your case now let's talk about quebec immigration program before we get started again i would like to tell you that this is the fastest way if you are outside canada and if you want to immigrate to quebec canada then you should consider applying under this stream well this stream is the fastest way to immigrate to quebec number one number two here you do not require any job offer number three there is no requirement of eca yes the time you spend for doing your eca process is also not required but apart from that those of you who are facing a lot of problems with proof of funds mind you this is the province you should be looking at because here the proof of funds is also very low and who said that if you want to immigrate to quebec you need french i say no if you want to immigrate to quebec even without french you can immigrate easily so if you are interested and if you want to know about the entire process your eligibility and much more then you should consider watching this video till the end and i would suggest do not even skip a second so let's get started so in this video we will be covering many points related to quebec which is why quebec about the program about the process the eligibility factors there's a different selection grid if you want to immigrate to quebec where you can calculate your eligibility and your score about the proof of funds required to immigrate to quebec and how to apply under this program there are multiple factors that increase your chances of getting a nomination from quebec and last but not the least about their draws so let's get started with our first point so let's talk about why quebec many of you think that i do not know french how do i immigrate to quebec well if you are living in english community it doesn't really matter i understand french is the primary language of quebec but it's fine you'll be able to manage now talking about quebec so it is the largest province amongst all the provinces of canada so just imagine the amount of opportunities and lots of things that will be available at its disposal and it is the second largest province by its population so it is not only big in size but also second largest in terms of population talking about language so the predominant language is french of course because the majority of people speak french there but even if you live in english community and speak english it doesn't really matter talking about the living cost in quebec so it is comparatively cheaper than other provinces of canada so let's take an example so in quebec if you want to rent a house so you can afford a furnished house for about 200 canadian dollar and it has the lowest cost of living plus added advantage is since you are immigrating as permanent resident so you get the same benefit as the citizen gets here now let's talk about climate so winters are very cold here it is very very cold and snowy of course canada is snowy and we all love that but here summers are very short because of its higher latitude now let's talk about the most important point kitna milta hai per hour what is the average wage per hour so in quebec you get an average of 20.63 canadian dollar per hour isn't that amazing now let's move to the next point which is about the program so if you want to immigrate to quebec using quebec immigration program there's a program for those who all are outside canada so you can use this program you can enroll under this program file your application under this and 
you can immigrate to Canada. The name of the program is Regular Skilled Worker Program. This program is operated by Quebec province and you have to apply under Arima portal. Talking about Arima portal, so there's a huge hype about Arima portal. So we will talk about towards the end of this video and I will be showing you how can you make your profile under Arima portal towards the end of this video. But before that, let's talk about the program. About this program, there's a myth that you need to have a French language if you want to immigrate under this program. Well, of course, who all are applying from outside Canada, hardly anybody knows French. Some of them have definitely learned. I wouldn't disagree to that, but there are maximum amount of population who doesn't know French. So under this stream, you can apply without even knowing French. So this program does not require you to show any proficiency in French, even if you have a language ability in English it's fine you can immigrate though you get lesser point for that but it's okay you become eligible the most important factor if you want to immigrate to Quebec using this program is your areas of training your education your work experience and the number of certification courses you have done so if you have a lot of background in your work experience and everything is all related then this is a program you should be looking at because your file your application will stand out than others in the pool the main advantage of this program is the program is online and you have to apply it through arima portal so like i said earlier i'll be talking about arima portal uh, towards the end of this video this program has three steps you have to apply and fill the EOI form wherein you have to fill a lot of details and you have to fill all these details on an online platform Number two, the Ministry of Quebec will review your documents and your application on the basis of the labor market needs. And number three, applications will be evaluated based on the selection grid. So Quebec has a different selection grid and applications will be evaluated based on that. I'll be talking about in detail about the selection grid too. So this video is going to be a bit long because Quebec immigration program is a different program as compared to express entry and PNPs it is completely different so if you want to apply then I would suggest do watch the video in detail and do not even skip a part because all the points are really very important now let's talk about our next point which is eligibility so here you are given points out of 120 and if you are a single applicant your eligibility score is 50 and if you are immigrating with your spouse if you are a married applicant your eligibility score would be 59 talking about the education requirements so here even if you have a post-secondary diploma or a vocational diploma it's fine you are eligible to apply and for this you do not require any ECA so you don't have to go through the ECA process all over again if you have all the required documents as for your language work experience you can just apply right now talking about language so if you know french so you can give tcf or tef exam and if you're keen on learning french then there are multiple institutes that offer six months course and they prepare you for french so you can enroll into that well there is no particular requirement for english language however if you score good if you score clb 6 or clb 7 it should be fine talking about work experience so the minimum number of work experience that you require here is five years and that too in NOC 0 a b the total number of work experience required here is five years which can be cumulative talking about NOC 0 a b and c you need a minimum of continuous work experience for about six months so if you fall under nocd skill type then you need to have a job offer if you want to immigrate to canada and here again no ACA is required talking about proof of funds so you need to have proof of funds which is comparatively lesser as compared to express entry and that should be sufficient to make sure that you are able to sustain first three months once you land in Quebec now let's talk about the proof of funds so as you can see on my screen over here so this is the minimum required proof of fund if you want to immigrate as a single applicant if you are immigrating with your spouse if you're immigrating with your children so make a note of these and try to maintain a little bit more amount than this in your account if, if you are only applying to Quebec. So if you are one adult, you need 3,284 CAD. If you are immigrating with just one child and the child is under 18 year old, then you need 4,413 CAD and so on. If you are immigrating to adults, then you need 4,816 CAD 
and if you are like married you are immigrating together and you have one child who is 18 years old then you require 5395 cat and so on so make a note of these proof of funds and decide where you fall now let's talk about the selection grid so the selection grid here is different as compared to express entry so i want you to have a look at these and calculate your score whether you are eligible to apply or not so here if you are immigrating as single applicant you need 50 points minimum to be eligible and if you are immigrating with your spouse you need 59 points so calculate your score accordingly after this i'm discussing in detail about each factor which includes education language age work experience so as you can see on my screen the factor one is education so depending upon the uh, level of education you get points here there is one thing which is area of training so i will be talking about areas of training next but let me tell you so if you are a university postgraduate you get maximum points here which is 14 points now let's talk about areas of training talking about areas of training so it is divided into five segments from section a to section e and for section a you get maximum points and the total maximum point that you can get here is 26 so let's talk about the areas of training here so if you have your education as postgraduate so you get 14 points and you have a areas of training under section a so section a comprise of bachelor's degree from a foreign university and master's degree from a foreign university under these fields well why i have mentioned foreign university is because there are sections where it is required that you need to complete your education in Quebec. So I have not mentioned about the details in Quebec since we are all applying from outside Quebec, outside Canada. So I have mentioned details only related to outside Quebec. So if you have areas of training under these field, so you fall under section A and uh, same thing goes with section B. So pause the video, take a screenshot of all these areas of training and find out where you fall and accordingly you will be getting points so these are the section c areas of training section d i have not mentioned because they mentioned only about the quebec university only and uh, talking about section e so these are the areas where that falls under section e so make a note of your areas of training and calculate your points accordingly and make sure you fall above the eligible points so that was all about the selection grid that i was talking about and i hope that was clear to you i gave like complete information to you so you have to select your education and your areas of training and calculate your points accordingly so that was about the factor one education now let's talk about factor two which is experience so as you can see on my screen you get a maximum of eight points because of your experience and if you have more than 48 months of experience or more so you get maximum points for that talking about factor three so you get maximum of 16 points for factor three so if you fall under 18 to 35 years of age you get 16 points talking about factor four so factor four is language so as you can see you get a maximum point for french but it is not mandatory that you need french in order to immigrate to quebec using this program it's just that french gives you more marks and english gives you lesser marks as compared to that so you can see the maximum score you can get here is 22 but on the basis of english language you can get two points if you have clb 9 in listening and speaking and you get one point if you have clb 5 in reading and writing and if you know french so depending upon the level of your french if you have scored c2 so you get maximum marks in listening and speaking and if you have c2 or c1 in reading and writing you get maximum marks so that was all about language talking about the fifth factor which is connection to quebec so if you have someone if you have any kind of connection to quebec you can consider this option and check if you can relate and prove the connection you have in quebec if you have studied if you have worked there earlier or if you have someone from your family living there so that was all about factor five now let's talk about factor six so factor six is spousal factors on the basis of your spousal education you can get a maximum of four points and on the basis of areas of training like i mentioned earlier so you can check your spouse areas of training and select the 
point accordingly on the basis of your spouse age you can get a maximum of 3 points if your spouse falls between 18 to 35 years of age and if your spouse has a french language proficiency so you can get a maximum of 3 points so for factor 6 you can score a maximum of 17 points on the basis of your spouse which is a big number let's talk about factor 7 which is a job offer so if you have a job offer from quebec well many of you managed to get showcasing your work experience and lot of the factors and it is easy to get a job from quebec if you are proficient in french so if you have this factor then you can score maximum of 14 points on the basis of this factor talking about factor age which is a children factor so if you have a child who is 12 years or less so you can score four points and if you have a child between 13 to 21 years you can score two points the maximum points you can get are eight which is two child of 12 years or less so this was all about the selection grid so i want you all to take a screenshot of each factors and calculate your points whether you are eligible to apply under Quebec immigration program or not. Now let's talk about the process. So this process is very important. So have a look at it properly. So first things first, you need an eligibility score. If you are a single applicant, you need 50 out of 120. If you are a married applicant, you need 59 out of 120. So that's an eligibility score you have to cross if you want to immigrate to Quebec using the Quebec skilled worker program. So if you are eligible, you need to gather your documents and you have to submit an expression of interest profile under arima portal the profile under arima portal is valid for 12 months only so after submitting your profile you have to wait for the draws there are certain in demand occupations that quebec releases and quebec has released approximately three draws three to four draws this year from the start of this year and i'll be talking about the in demand occupations of quebec in my next video so yes subscribe if you want to know about the in-demand occupation and whether your occupation falls under the in-demand category in quebec and if you are eligible to apply so once you have submitted your application you have to wait for the draw so now what happens here is they take about three to four months time they verify your application your information and all other documents that you have submitted if there is a requirement for any documents they let you know but make sure that you fulfill all the documents in prior only in order to avoid delays in your application and once your application and your information is verified and if you're accepted oh wow you get 60 days to apply yes you have 60 days to submit all your documents that is required by them now and once you submit all the documents within 60 days you have to wait for about six months for the decision to come so it is close to like you get an ita in express entry you have 60 days to apply with all your documents and after that you have to wait for six to eight months for the decision the same thing if you are accepted you have 60 days to apply and once you apply you have to wait for six months for the decisions to come and if you're selected if you are approved after six months you get a quebec selection certificate which is csq now of course you cannot immigrate i mean you cannot just travel to canada directly to quebec you have to go to the canadian government website and apply for permanent residency so selection is pakka completely so that was all about the process and how to apply yes you have to go to arima portal to apply so i'll be sharing my screen towards the end of this video and showing you how to apply under this program but before that let's talk about the factors that increase your chances of getting a nomination from quebec so number one is if you have a lot of certification courses if your work experience is too good and too much that increases your chances of getting nominated because that's the most important factor that they consider before nominating you if you are under 35 years of age you get more points and they want more young people to immigrate and contribute to the economy for a longer period of time another thing is which i've been talking in this video from the start which is the french well i said french is not required if you want to immigrate but if you have french it 
increases your chances of getting a nomination so yes french is not mandatory here but if you have french do include it because it will increase your chances if you have a spouse who is a working spouse that will add as a add on factor in helping you get a nomination faster well officials make sure that you have a good employability factor you have a good employable capability which means you are able to get a job faster so they evaluate you on the basis of lot of points so like i'm saying in every video just work towards increasing your chances increasing your points in a better way to get a nomination faster also if you are able to score good in english either in ielts or celpip it's an added advantage for you to get nomination faster and it may increase your chance too the last point is about the draw so since you have to wait for the draw post submission of your eoi application your eoi profile so quebec releases draw from the start of 2022 they have been releasing draws and they have also mentioned the in demand occupations in each draw so let's talk about the draw so this is my screen so they released a draw on january 13 and the number of invitations issued were 512 on january 27 they invited 322 candidates on february 10 523 candidates were invited and on february 24 306 candidates were invited so on an average of two draws per month and approximately 800 to 900 applicants they invite per month and these are the number of in demand occupations i'll be making a detailed video about the in demand occupations of quebec in my next video and in this video we'll be sticking to how to apply under quebec immigration program under regular skilled worker program so let's go to the arima portal on my screen and let's have a look at how to apply so that's it guys from today i hope you all like this video and this video was informational to you if you want to immigrate to canada but if you are waiting for express entry if you want some other ways to immigrate then you should consider applying under Quebec immigration stream because this sounds like a golden chance of getting nominated and immigrating to Canada faster so that's it guys from today i hope you all like this video if you really like this video hit the like button subscribe to my channel and share this video with all your friends i hope to see you very soon take care bye bye